you have high functioning autism. She's literally saying, if I had known that, yeah. I, you wouldn't have been born. Jordan's message is sponsored by Squarespace. I would suggest everybody out there, for your own sake, weed out some people in your life. Post an Alex Jones meme. <laughs> See who leaves. Just a funny meme. Who takes it way too seriously and leaves? You don't want them in your life. Stop it, get some help. This is the last messages before I am a father. But Josh, in my Christian normal worldview, I'm already a father, okay? Sarah's back here, pregnant, ready to go, and so am I. Messages will be taking a bit of a hiatus, okay? It's, the show is not canceled, it will never be canceled. I edit messages and I'm gonna need some time off to uh, be with my wife and child. So we will be back. You know, who knows who will be in office. It probably doesn't even matter. It won't be that long. Let's get to the messages. Dear Jordan and Josh, I'm female 29 and have a small preschool aged child. I've been married for five years. I recently found out my husband has been cheating on me for the past three years through a pornography addiction and long-term explicit online relationships. He is currently in therapy and support group to fix his issues, but I'm not sure what to do. I fear that a divorce will traumatize our small child child, and that if I were to leave my husband, few men would date a single mom. But I'm not sure I can love my husband again after what he did. When I look at him, I see the other women. We're both Christians, so divorce is viewed as quite bad. Do you have any advice? Missed my chance to at true love. <laughs> Jeez. How, what would it be like if I looked at Sarah and saw a man. I couldn't be with it. I couldn't. <laughs> you know, I mean, for that fact alone, forget the pornography and everything, like that fact alone. Um, no, I mean, it, 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 but she's seeing multiple women too. It's almost like, you know those memes where it's like, well, no, it's like those memes where it's like a biblical representation of oh, yeah. this, and it's like something with like 20 eyes. Yeah. She's seeing the biblical representation of what he is. <laughs> God shows you for who you really are. He's multi, multi head female. I know in this world where it's like therapy is, everybody's doing therapy, okay? Allegedly. That's right. They're doing That's the work. Where I'm heading next. Josh is going to therapy right after this. He's doing the work. I just came back from that. Oh, he's going back afterwards too. He's doing the work. I'm here, I'm here at therapy right now. <laughs> Josh is always in therapy because he's here too. I've seen Josh on some of these dating shows where some <laughs> people have done some really bad, horrible things and they're like, look, I'm going, I'll go to therapy. I'm doing the therapy. I've seen the look in their eyes. They're like, look, I'm using this as a means to just be with you still and not have my life be completely destroyed. And you really don't know, I don't know, because I, again, I, the guy hasn't walked through the door. If he walked through the door, I would know immediately. I always say that. But just through text on a page, it is difficult for me to, to, to I don't take that just as at face value. I'm going to therapy. Oh, okay, then you are trustworthy. <laughs> no, you, you're not getting by that easily with me. Okay, maybe other people, but not with me and not with your wife. We need some, we, we need a track record that I don't have. Maybe she does. Maybe she can get over this if she has a track record of good behavior, but as right now, like, you know, when, when you cheat on on your wife and and the wife isn't the type who's like doing any of this kind of stuff, you know, maybe if it's a wife who like is looking at bad stuff online too or whatever, it's like, okay, we're all kind of doing this. And so I can forgive you because oh, I don't want sure. you to know what I'm doing. Uh, but if it's like this like nice kind of like pure kind of wife who's like just, you know, trying to do the right thing constantly and then she finds this out, total slap in the face, whammy, like that, that's that's hard to come back from. I'm just gonna go by the text, okay? The husband is trying, it looks like. You have a child, you know, maybe not everybody's lot in life is to have this perfect true love, everything. Maybe life is a little bit, gets a little bit more messy than that and we gotta make some hard decisions and decide things and that's just the, the that's the price that it takes i mean look at our lord and savior got beat to death you know did he have true love he did josh he had true love for us but it wasn't about him gaining true love it was about him giving it 
And that's, that's kind of the situation that some of the best people in the world have found themselves in. So maybe that's the, that's where we're at. You know, it's a really difficult situation. Really sorry about this. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of inspiration. Through the many changes of Blind Macau over the years, one thing has always remained extremely consistent our website with Squarespace. It's always looked so amazing and we recently redesigned it again. That redesign really helped us to switch over from Patreon to our own supporter community. It made the transition seamless. We only recommend stuff to you guys that we actually use ourselves, and Squarespace is something that we use ourselves every single day. Look, it's time, okay? It's 2024, you've been putting off building your website for so many years, it's time to finally do it with Squarespace. You need a website to show your name and show the things that you do so you can start building a brand and maybe not have to work your day job and do something <laughs> different with your life. Squarespace also has new AI tools that help you to build the website of your dreams. It's easier than ever now. All the templates look great and you can even customize them to do whatever you want. They're always adding new features too, like tools that help you to be able to show up in search engines. You can even upload video directly to your site or set up a paywall so that those videos are shown if they, well, pay you. And if you're selling products, they have very powerful payment tools that makes accepting Apple Pay, PayPal, credit cards just so easy. The selling stuff is incredibly easy on Squarespace and they even have print on demand. It's crazy. So what do you want to build? Listen to me right now. Do it with Squarespace. It's time to finally build that site that you've been putting off. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to our link squarespace.com slash cow, because there you're going to receive 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay. That's squarespace.com slash cow. Now. Let's get back to the messages. Hi, Jordan and Josh. I am an 18 year old guy who isn't sure if it would be wise to start dating when I have lustful thoughts about women. On the other hand, I know that fantasizing won't help me put myself at out there and find a girl to start a family with. On the other hand, my mom advised me years back not to plan on having kids since they would inherit high functioning autism <laughs> from me. Which would make parenting more difficult? High functioning. That means it's like not that bad, right? I, pretty much. I also fear that I wouldn't be a faithful husband because I used to watch PORN and my dad did the same. He frequently refused to change when my mom confronted him about his habit behind closed doors, which led them to get divorced several years later. So I feel quite conflicted as to whether or not remaining single is the right path for me to take. Yet, I don't want to try to prevent myself from dating for the sake of ridding my mind of lust. I've tried doing that for years. Could you please steer me in the right direction? This is so dysfunctional. It's incredible. It's high functioning. It's high functioning dysfunction. This is- Highly dysfunctional. This is highly dysfunctional. This is crazy. Your mom has, God. Josh, you're like, hey, look, you have high functioning autism. Her, she's literally saying, if I had known that, yeah. I, you wouldn't have been born. I, I hate to, if if this person hasn't connected this, that's basically what your mom has just said. Like as sick as that is, which is so not true and so wrong, but I'm just saying whatever your mom is telling you is is horrible. Okay, so. I'm, I'm, I'm connecting the dots here for you. So you're not just, if you haven't connected those dots of what she really said, then, or what she, her, I don't know if that was her motive or if she's just stupid. Stu if she's literally just stupid, I don't know. I, sorry, that's, that's really making me angry. I think the short answer is you should stop talking to your parents about this and find some good mentors. Yeah, stop and listening to, if, they're, if your mom is literally in a way saying, I wish you weren't born. If I had known this, we wouldn't have had you, okay? Like, she's not gonna give you any good advice about your life, right? I mean, I don't know what else to say, like, it's horrible. So, if none of that's true. Like, you need to get out, break out of that paradigm and be like, wow, okay, my mom is kind of nuts. Like, she's telling me that I'm kind of useless. Bleepity bleep her. <laughs> Like, you're not actually gonna say that, but like at some point we kind of have to be like, what what the bleep is this about? Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna listen to this. 
I don't need this. Yeah. I gotta go, like Sarah said, I gotta go find some other mentors. And look, I mean, like your dad, you, they got divorced. Your dad is uh, kind of probably still addicted to this stuff and uh, you've struggled. Like, it, look, okay, this is the hand that you've been dealt. I don't really know what else to say, but no matter the hand that you're dealt, you, you can break free of this stuff, okay? This, there's, there's always hope. That's why I'm kind of saying the harsh truth about like what the awful thing that your mom said and told you to not like do the Lord's work and have children because of you and like your bad genes or something is what she's saying. And so she wish, it's just crazy. So yeah, your mom's done. We're not, we're not talking to her. We're not listening to her about anything. Like you can have a nice relationship with her, but you're elevated than her. You're, you're, you're better than her. You're not- Enjoy Thanksgiving. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Okay, but we're not, she's not, she's not an influence on your life. How old is this person? 18? This is going to be difficult because you're 18. But quite frankly, you might need to just move out if this is the kind of stuff that she's like, th this is the kind of like psychological warfare that you're going to wake up from in like 10 years and be like, wow, I can't believe that that I thought that was normal. It started with Jordan and I was kind of mad at Jordan because he said, bleep my mom, <laughs> but he was right. Look, if you're mad at me, that's fine. I'm just the first stepping stone for you to walk to your future. Like I will take that heat from you. Your, your mom is not a nice person. I'm sorry. She's really well, not. I think she's probably coming from a place. No, I don't care about the place. That See, this is how people get screwed because they think, oh, well, th they, this person said, hey, I wish you weren't born, but they said it from a nice place. So well, it doesn't matter what the place is. A, she's obviously a hurt person who is dealing with a lot of- Yeah, I don't care. And that's what I'm That's what I'm saying. I get it. angry at his parents. No, I'm not telling him to be angry. I'm just telling him to be realistic. Yeah. If, if so, he needs to get a little bit mad. Angry. If somebody told me, if mom told me, hey, Jordan, uh, I you don't have kids because, because of the way you are, <laughs> that I would, yeah, I would say bleep you. I'm done. I wouldn't tell her that, but in my mind, I would think as soon as I heard that, I would think we're done. I'm not listening to anything. I'm not mad at you, but I'm done. I, I have finally woken up. And now everything that you've ever told me. In a way, you should be thanking her. <laughs> Thank you for giving me this revelation. Or at least saying it out loud. Yeah. Jeez. People start having these good, quote unquote, good motives, and that's how the world gets destroyed. <laughs> So, but we need to start being realistic about this. This is crazy. Wow. I'm see. I'm trying to think as a as a boy, hearing that from my mom, dude. As sensitive as I was, <laughs> I would be shattered the rest of my life. I would that would have shattered me. It would. It's horrible. Wow. I'm so sorry. I don't even know what to say. There's really no answers. You just you're 18. You're gonna have to make some tough decisions at 18 and have some tough conversations with people and change like your entire relationship with these people because they're nuts. And that's that's the that's the end. That's the last messages from hiatus. And when 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 after the hiatus, maybe I'll be in a better mood. But that last one peed me off pretty bad, Josh. So I wish it wasn't that question. But you know, we always have to end on a low note here so I can come back with my highest high. It has been 18 years of messages. We started this show, we think June 22nd or June 23rd of whatever year that was. 2006, five, 2006. six. Yep. 2006, so that's 18 years of my life that has gone to reading these questions, fixing your life. And you know what? It seems like it hasn't done a darn thing. <laughs> this world is getting worse and worse. I, Josh, it's, it's not that I'm doing, it's not that I'm doing a bad job. It's that if I hadn't done this, if we hadn't done this show for 18 years, there would be no planet Earth. <laughs> there would have been a nuclear war. Already. We've stopped that. You think uh, the Chinese and the Iranians and the Israelis, uh, they, all, they all watch messages? Some of them must. <laughs> we have saved the planet and we are slowing the decay. And we're trying our best, but we're gonna have to put on a hiatus because there's more important things in this world. My child is more important, so I have to make sure, tend to him, tend to Sarah, make sure everybody's okay, and then I'll get back to saving the world from nuclear holocaust. Because he needs a place to live, too. And I will answer all of his messages for the first six weeks of life. And then he will be fine. All right, well, uh... Lots of messy diapers. Messy diapers! And leave good messages. <laughs>